Well, for the Carhartt Bassmaster College Series, the year-long, career-long, actually, race to the top for 2020 has been completed. We have national champions. Congratulations, Brian College, and congratulations to you for joining us here in the Bassmaster Studios. I'm Tommy Sanders here with Ronnie Moore. We got one more very important step left to go. Those four top finishing teams in that national championship Eight anglers total are now, Ronnie, competing as individuals for a very important prize. Over the three days of the bracket competition, those eight individual anglers split up, compete head to head, and they move on step by step to the semifinals, to the finals, and eventually one angler will be the top of the college fishing world and will represent the series for all of 2021. And of course, that's what's at stake. That's what they're fishing for right there entrance into the Bassmaster Classic and money. Anyone who knows anything about professional bass fishing knows that this is where you want to land and to do it so early in your career is remarkable. There are so many anglers at the professional level that might never fish a Bassmaster Classic for one of these college anglers to be able to punch their ticket now this early in their life in their career. It'll set the tone going forward. They'll also get full entry into the 2021 BassPro.com Bassmaster Opens. That is a big relief because that is the big stepping stone to qualify for the Elite Series and do this full time as a professional. Yeah, they got plenty more coming their way as well. And we'll get into that through the course of this show today. But the classic, the World Championship, I mean, that is rarefied air. Guys, great anglers go their entire careers never making it to this stage. And two of those college anglers to make the classic and represent the college series have made the cut. That half cut to go into the final day of the classic. Jordan Lee, we know he, he fared in his at Lake Gunnersville and made the top uh, 10. Cody Huff made the cut this year, our 2019 representative. And it's going to be a stout field because they were battle tested at the Harris Chain just to make it to the bracket and to make the classic is the big deal. And you always want to make every classic, but this one for sure is special. Well, it's going to be coming up in 2021 at Lake Ray Roberts. Now, Lake Ray Roberts in Fort Worth, of course, the host city. Lake Ray Roberts is a formidable lake. It could be big bass time. It is, and it's going to be at a great time, March 19th through the 21st. That is when big fish in Texas show up. They're always there all times of the year. You can catch your biggest fish all the way in the fall. In November, we saw that at Lake Fork in the Elite Series in 2020. But in the March time period, that spring, Ray Roberts should definitely show out possible 10 pound fish caught. All right, it's going to be a great, great event. First time ever in Fort Worth. That's a great bass fishing country there in North Central Texas. The new Dickies Arena there in Fort Worth. It should be amazing. It should be amazing. And it's an awesome opportunity, no matter where the classic is, for one of these anglers to represent their entire league, their entire school system of anglers, so to say. Uh, it is an honor and it's something that's going to carry them into their their professional career. Well, as we say, it's been a long, hard road for these eight anglers to get here. Tommy, you mentioned it, the national championship taking place down in Florida, the Harris Chain in October. Normally that's done in the middle of the summer, this year postponed to the fall. And the guys who got it done on the Harris Chain, a very diverse fishery, something totally different than they'll face at Lay Lake. But these guys got it done, especially the duo from Bryan College. Yeah, Cole Sands and Connor Demaro finding a kind of out of the way spot in the Harris chain of lakes, put together an absolutely record setting performance. Leesburg, I need you to get loud for your 2020 Carhartt Bassmaster College Series National Champions, Cole Sands and Connor Demaro from Bryan College with 84-12 through their three days of fishing on the Harris chain of lakes. On the strength of that incredible performance, of course, Brian College leads the way into the bracketed competition. You see Cole Sands on the left, Connor DeMauro on the right, the number one seeds on those bracket sides there. Also teams from University of North Alabama, Georgia Southern and McKendry. And now we're going to fast forward over to Lay Lake, a totally different body of water than the Harris Chain. Normally when we have the bracket, we have it on a body of water and then we have the bracket on a nearby body of water, something similar to what they face, but it's not. It's over a month later and it's a different part of the country, Alabama in the full out fall cold front. In this first matchup, Tommy, Connor tomorrow, Trevor McKinney, the best one of the day. 12 pounds, four ounces to 11 pounds, two ounces. McKinney moves on. Yeah, those two anglers had the top two weights on day number one and Trevor McKinney, an impressive angler. We know from high school fishing, uh, vied for a lot of championships there and he's doing so in college as well. Benson Dowler from North Alabama going up against Ty Black. Georgia Southern, and it's going to be Benson Dowler, the Alabama native, doing well here on Alabama's Lay Lake. Is one of the local anglers here. He knows a lot about Lay Lake, probably more than anyone else in the bracket, and that got him to squeak by round one. 
Okay, another close one in this one. North Alabama's Cole Thompson, the Florida native, just besting Avery Thomason of Georgia Southern. Cole Thompson obviously felt right at home at the Harris chain. This will be a little different, but going to school in North Alabama, he wanted the experience of different bodies of water, and he's getting it this week. Another McKendry angler, Blake Jackson, going up against number one seed Cole Sands, and it would be Blake Jackson with the upset there, just barely shading Sands to make it to round two. We've now cut it from four different schools, four different universities, down to just two. McKendry and North Alabama are going to square off in the semifinal round right here. Blake Jackson on one side versus Cole Thompson, and Trevor McKinney versus Benson Dow. So after one day's competition, our field of eight is now down to four. That will be two fishing matches taking place here on day number two, eight hours of fishing on Lay Lake. About typical conditions for this time of year in Alabama, cold in the mornings, warmer in the afternoons. Yeah, and it's changing every day. We get that fall transition and the more cold fronts that hit Alabama, the more, I guess, stable it gets. These fish get to where they're supposed to be for that fall winter time pattern. They start feeding up. You got to remember, we're still doing five fish limit here. 12 12 inches per fish. And these guys still have to see what their best limit will be head to head. Going up against a team from um, McKendry, uh, there's some hammers. And it's kind of cool. It's a purple and gold matchup in the final four. And I'm just ready to uh, go try to catch a few fish and try to make it happen. I found something late in the day yesterday, and, uh, and I, I think it's an all day thing. And so I just I got two rods, and I'm going to hold all day, and we're going. We're going to see what they weigh at the end of the day. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm feeling good about it. But uh, we're going to get after it and see what happens. We'll get after it when we come back. These two matches, Benson Dowler of University of North Alabama versus Trevor McKinney of McKendry. Cole Thompson of North Alabama versus Blake Jackson of McKendry. The Carhartt Bassmaster College Series, presented by Bass Pro Shops, is brought to you by Carhartt. and by Bass Pro Shops. The Carhartt Bassmaster College Classic Bracket Competition for 2020 coming to you from Lay Lake, a pretty historic body of water here. These 12,000 acres on the Coosa River have hosted four, count them, four Bassmaster Classics through the years. And it's felt like this, Tommy, very cold. These guys are uh, getting that first winter storm, that first winter front in Alabama. It's changing it up, but the spotted bass love it when it gets to this time of year. And we should see some good fishing, but you still are going head-to-head, -head, which means you have to catch as much weight as possible because the guy you're going against could be the one that takes you out, even though you're better than everybody else at that day of competition. Of course, we're taking off from Beeswax Creek State Park there. Got the match between Benson Dowler and Trevor McKinney. And they're going to be fishing a little bit closer to Beeswax. Meanwhile, Cole Thompson the University of North Alabama and Blake Jackson separated and further down river, down the Coosa River from the first matchup. And that is, again, Benson Dowler versus Trevor McKinney. Now they get an update midday on what the weight is, but for both of them, starting so close, they're going to get their updates in real time as they can see each other fishing, both choosing this Paradise Point region of Lay Lake, a popular marina. <laughs> Nice. You can take a good start. He's definitely over 12. All right, their scales are zeroed. One eleven. It's a start. 111, the stuff as it was yesterday. I'm happy with them. So I wrote down 111 just so you know. Yep. Important to get on the board, and so Trevor McKinney is on the board. Comes into this area with a lot of confidence. He says, plenty of bait around here. And where there's bait, there's fish. There was definitely plenty of fish yesterday as he had 12-4 outbesting 11-12 from Connor tomorrow. The best weight overall for Trevor. And hey, that was only their second day of competition. So obviously every day on the water, they're learning more about Lay Lake. Number 
too. Got a quick start this morning. One six. Sounds good to me. One six. Not very big, but it's been tough. Trevor McKinney going to be happy for every keeper that he puts in the boat today. How strong it would be to be able to put a five fish limit in the boat here in the second day of competition. Let's get over to Pell City, Alabama native Benson Dowell. Pell City, we know that's Logan Martin, which is just one lake up the Coosa River from Lay Lake, the one with the most experience here. But hey, his style of fishing might not be conducive for that early winter time, so he's going to definitely have to stay on his toes, even on a lake that he might consider home waters. Come on, please get in the damn boat. Oh my God, he's running right at me. God. Told you I was gonna catch one of them. I didn't know they'd be this size, but. <laughs> 13 and a quarter incher. One on one. One on one. That's about right. So we got one. <clears throat> this is one of the bigger creeks uh, on the lake, and uh, there's both these two points right here. There's really soft bottom going down the bank, and then it's hard bottom around both these points. And uh, growing up, we'd come out here and and uh, we'd. We dump Christmas trees down there, and uh, and I fished it in practice and didn't get a bite. We're gonna probably have to check him for 12. To get your ruler, uh, but yeah, they, uh, but it, it just it's just one of those spots that I've always fished just to get a limit. I don't think he's gonna go. Oh yeah, he is. I think. Oh, no, he doesn't go. Quiet. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's just it's a it's just a good limit spot to calm you down a little bit. Haven't had any bites all day, really. I mean, well, had a few bites, but they're just not committing in the grass. And last night, sitting in the hotel room, I looked at the looked at the schedule, and they said they're going to be running a lot of current today. And uh, for once, they were right, and they're running a lot of current. So I pulled up here and. Uh, it didn't take long at all. I got bit on a jig and they wouldn't commit to it. So threw a shaky head down there and it's two fish pretty close together, so. A little bit of a reason for optimism moving forward for Benson Dowler in this match here. He's gonna have to bring it because he's going up against a tough customer in McKendry's Trevor McKinney. Trevor McKinney, he's got the big lead at this point right now. We'll take a look at our other match when we return. Carhartt Bassmaster College Series. This is the final event of the year and a very important one. It means a trip to the Classic for a single angler in this Classic bracketed competition. We've already had a look at uh, one of our two matches today. That would be Benson Dowler versus Trevor McKinney. Second match is a little bit closer as it stands right now. North Alabama's Cole Thompson going against Blake Jackson of McKendry here in Illinois. And Cole Thompson, native of St. Cloud, Florida, He's a junior and he's gonna try everything he can do to make it to the Elite Series. That's his overall goal in the sport of fishing, but today the goal is to win this match. We only got one day of practice, so it's tough with one day of practice to fish a lot and actually pattern fish in mm -hmm. and go find productive areas at the same time. So first day of practice, I probably didn't make a cast till 11 o'clock and uh, pretty much just going on what I thought looked good. And then yesterday, it kind of panned out and the, the two areas I thought would be the most productive were the most productive, so uh, that was pretty promising. Hopefully it happens again today. That's what I'm talking about. Came off in the boat. Spence got him. the time we need right there buddy a wacky rig putting a couple fish in the boat 
the amount of time we've been in here, had a decent amount of bites. One pound, four ounces. There's the fourth fish for Cole Thompson today. Again, this match is pretty tight. These guys have been fish for fish all morning long. Cole Thompson again going up against McKendree University's Blake Jackson. They mentioned it one day of practice. It's really interesting to see how these guys piece it together. Some catching them on a one bait specifically and leaning on that, some mixing in multiple, but it's important to figure it out. I found this point up here. So my practice was really tough in the morning. It seemed like, I don't know, a lot of the baits on these points. I found one area that had, I thought, really big potential. Uh, they were busting. It kind of runs in flurries. That's how it was in practice. That's how it was yesterday. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a darn big one. I doubt that's a bass. We are dealing with spots, though. Shoot, it ain't even big. Golly. That's a spot for you. Yeah. One four, probably. One five. One five. Yep. Yeah. We'll take it. Here you go. Need one of them three pounders or something. You get it like a freight train. Be some good television right there. I don't know. Cautiously optimistic. Cautiously. I, I'm not thinking it is. It's got a little head on it. Yeah, man. What are you talking about? Good. That's a good one. That's probably my biggest fish of the turn. I don't know if he'll beat 2-4. I had a that 2-4 that spit up a shed yesterday. Oh yeah, 210, 210, nice. Yep. I knew he had a little head on him, but he just, he wasn't fighting. Both them bigger fish have been off that bluffy bank, I don't know. Nice win there for Blake Jackson, one of those classic big Coosa River spotted bass. Of course, these guys have the prize in their mind right now, the birth in the 2021 World Championship, the Bassmaster Classic, entry into the 2021 BassPro.com Bassmaster Opens. Use of the fully wrapped Toyota Tundra, the fully wrapped Nitro Z20 boat. It is heady, heady stuff as we look forward to the World Championship. And I highly doubt any of these four anglers, Tommy, have been to Ray Roberts. Two from Illinois, one from Florida, one from Alabama. But if they advance past bracketed competition and win their spot in the Classic, I guarantee you they'll take a trip to Fort Worth and get some practice time in because it is the world championship of the sport, the biggest event, the Super Bowl of bass fishing, and you want to make the most of it and have a shot to possibly win this prestigious event. Of course, first time ever for this Bassmaster Classic to be held in Fort Worth, Texas, right in the middle of bass fishing country. Brand new facility here, the Dickies Arena, state-of-the-art place. It should be fantastic for the anglers, the spectators, and everyone certainly on the bucket list for anyone who's a big-time professional bass fishing fan, the World Championship, the Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmaster Classic. Back to this matchup, Benson Dowler, Trevor McKinnon. This is the best way for us college anglers to even to even have a chance at the Classic. It's kind of put a little bit of stress on me, but at the same time, I, I know I know what it's gonna take and uh, and I know what to do. Now, whether or not I can get him to bite or not, that's, that's another story, but it goes back to the to the old saying, you know, that's why they call it fishing, not catching. So, that's it, you know. It'd be fun to make it to the Classic, but uh, gotta make it past today to, to even have a shot. So, we're just gonna see what happens, I guess. 
Benson Dowler definitely uh, sort of behind the eight ball in his matchup with Trevor McKinney of McKendree University right now. He's had some, had some bites today. His can't get any size in the boat, can't get the keepers in there running. And that's the biggest thing, 12 inches here for largemouth and spotted bass, and you don't want to have to measure fish, but you do have to start somewhere. You do have to get a limit. And for Benson, he's really adjusting. He is a grass angler wanting to throw that swim jig, wanting to be up shallow. And with that not playing this morning, he's having to adjust. Fishing some current-oriented, that Coosa River system, flowing some water. He has to find an adjustment there. And he's catching some fish now, but like you said, Tommy, needs him to be a little bit bigger because we know Trevor McKinney is going to bring it once again. Maybe this one will be 12. Oh, yeah, that's a 12. I'm pretty sure it's a 12. I don't know. He looks nice. He's shrinking now. Yeah, that's 12. That's it. I'm going to guess 12 ounces. Oh. Oh, man. I was real close. 11. 11 ounces. Had to go through a lot of bites just to get those two small fish. So Benson Dowler definitely still has his work cut out for him. He's trying to run down this man right here, Trevor McKinney, who took down the number one seat on day one of the competition here. Took down Connor DeMauro of Bryan College. Yeah, a little update. Uh, kind of switched it up a little bit. Moved, uh, moved away from our primary area and kind of Honestly, kind of looking, looking for new stuff for today and tomorrow because um, I feel like I'm running out of fish. And a lot of these fish, they're still suspended chasing bait. So they're shad all along this ditch. And uh, the fish that I'm targeting, they're all suspended chasing these shad. There's actually a couple right under us so look pretty good. I still need a big one. I'm looking for one big one. That might be a good fish. It is a good fish. Plus he's foul hooked. Yeah, fast spot. One nine. One nine. One nine. I'll take it. Got some spotted bass. Pretty one. One nine. Hopefully we can get some more. Ten ounce coal. Yeah, pretty decent little coal. Almost a pound upgrade for Trevor McKinney. And Trevor's been putting a lot of baits into play. Day one, underspin. Today, a jerk bait. He's figuring it out day by day. And it shows as he beat Benson Dowler today and adjusted properly seven pounds, 12 ounces to just two pounds, six ounces for the local. And in our other match, Cole Thompson versus Blake Jackson, it's Blake Jackson with a similar margin. So we are headed to, yeah, it happens once in a while, two anglers who have fished on the same team all year long now face off against each other, and that is the prospect for championship day. Blake Jackson versus Trevor McKinney. We'll start it when we come back. Kind of like the last day of school, the last day of the season for the Carhartt Bassmaster College Series. The classic bracket competition is down to this final day. It's down to two anglers, two teammates from the same college, McKendree University, Trevor McKinney and Blake Jackson. And we'd love to get it underway, but right now, as you can see, we got a little spot of bother in the form of a fog delay. Right now, let's turn it over to tournament director, Hank Weldon. So we're officially under a fog delay. Takeoff typically has been 6.30. This is actually the second fog delay out of the three days. Kind of a normal thing here in Alabama in uh, late November or mid-November. And uh, we're looking like we're probably gonna be getting out of here in about 15 minutes or so. So we're just kind of letting the, letting the fog burn off and then we'll be officially underway for this final day of the bracket. Well, if our two finalist competitors didn't have a case of the nerves to start this day, they probably got it by now, and it's probably getting worse as the time ticks away. They've got eight hours to plead their case for a spot in the World Championship, the Bassmaster Classic. These two teammates now facing each other. Yeah, um, yesterday after the win, I was super excited. Um, I'm just going to go out with an attitude of having fun today. Whatever's going to happen, happen. And uh, I'm just blessed to be able uh, to have a chance of me and my best friend going to the Classic after the day. Hats off, first of all, to the McKendry University Bass Fishing Program. These two finalists here today, a product of that, and they are two 
well, well-traveled anglers. We've already had six schools. This is the sixth instance of teammates competing for the spot in the Classic in that final matchup. Bethel's done it, Brian's done it, Auburn's done it, Stephen F. Austin's done it, and now McKendry adds their name to the list. A great program, and Trevor McKinney, like every other morning, starting off very strong and fast this morning. Well, the fog delay is barely cleared off. In fact, it's not gone yet. And Trevor McKinney fishing very close to the launch. And Beeswax Creek has got three fish in the boat. One seven. I got one seven. There you go, Two casts in a row. Two casts in a row. He's found them grouped up, Tommy. That's really important this time of the year. That fall transition, fish are moving and grouping up and feeding up on bait before winter. And Trevor's found them. There he is. That's him right there. That is him. Come on, Lord, help me. That's him. I need him. The big one. Real good one. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Woo! Yeah! Thank There's you, a Jesus! Coosa. There's a Coosa River spot. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Three one, three one. Thank you, God. That's more like it right there. I just had one like it fall on my bait earlier too. Thank you, God. Fourth fish for Trevor McKinney and his biggest of the day as well. Trevor McKinney getting started before the fog from the fog delay had even cleared off and a huge advantage for him right now over Blake Jackson who only has, well he has no fish today. He has no keepers in the boat so far doing what he's done all three days. Oh, that can be a bass. I don't think it's a bass. Oh. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Oh, beautiful spot. That's what we need. Alabama bass. That is the one we needed right there to get the one started. Okay. You ready? Scales are ready. That's the one we needed. Four, one, two, three. Three eleven. Three eleven. Yes, sir. Let's go. <sighs> Gotta be right on this. All my bigger fish have been right on that real bluff wall with no grass in front of it. Thank you. Whew. It's weird. I mean, you catch. There's a big one. That's him. Come on, Lord. I need this one. Come on, Lord. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. It's another good one. That was my fault. That was terrible. Gosh, that was terrible. Come on, Lord. Come on. We'll get another one. We'll get another one. Oh, that was my fault. That was bad. There he is. Another good one. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Good, you don't have to measure him. For the second biggest one on the car. Come on, jeez. Man, I needed that one before that. How that, big? Do you see it? It was like two and a quarter. Big one for me. Well, that one's a decent one. 110, 110. That's number five, I'll take you. Thank you, Lord. I haven't caught them this good since I started fishing in this bracket. I've been up half the night praying that God would just 
give me direction this morning. I feel like he's, he's with me this morning. Such an important day for Trevor McKinney, this college angler here, and obviously he's got his mind set on what he's going to do. His mind is in a good place, and the fish were in the right place when he showed up this morning. So a limit in the boat now for Trevor McKinney and an almost five-pound lead ahead of Blake Jackson with a single fish, but it's a good one. It's far from done. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're watching the Carhartt Bassmaster College Series Classic Bracket Competition. For 2020, we crowned our champions and the top eight anglers of the four top teams in that national championship started this tournament competing as individuals. We're down to two on this final day. One of the two will get that berth into the 2021 Bassmaster Classic. Entry full ride into BassPro.com Bassmaster Opens. Fully wrapped Toyota Tundra. Also the use of a fully wrapped Nitro Z20 boat. So big, big things coming the way. And especially, Ronnie, that opportunity to compete in the World Championship. 100% Tommy, and there's no better way you want to start your final day head to head against yeah. your teammate than the way Trevor McKinney did this morning. He was on fire fish after fish after fish and we're doing our best five fish but he got off on a great start this morning and he's really it's going to propel him into the afternoon they will get revealed what their midday weights are but him having that early start at least has confidence for him as we get towards uh the end of the the round and when they get to reveal those weights so for these guys, it's obviously a pressure cooker of emotions one-on-one -on -one against your teammate. Yep, Trevor McKay, a guy with a ton of confidence, and that's something that could carry him through, and it also bodes well for his uh, possible appearance in the World Championship, the Bassmaster Classic, and we are looking forward to a big one in 2021. The nerves are going to be there for sure. I mean, if you say a Bassmaster Classic, it is what everyone dreams of. Making it there, the opportunity just to launch your boat and compete. There are butterflies, tears, your fans are there, your family is there, and it's something that everyone in the professional fishing world has dreamed of. Lake Ray Roberts in Central Texas there, Fort Worth being the host city. It's going to be a first ever Bassmaster Classic in that particular area, which is big time bass fishing country. It should be great fun, big bass time at Lake Roberts as well, everything coming together. And one of our two anglers we're watching very, very closely today. We would cherish the opportunity to get there. How about our, our winner last year, Cody Huff? Cody Huff, a great representative. He has done well in the College Series since then, since making the Classic. He has won College Series events. He's won semi-pro events. He's really off on the right foot. And if one college angler to, was to ever win the Bassmaster Classic as the college participant, it would be 100% life-changing, and they'd get the opportunity to fish in the Elite Series. Well, we're taking a look at how our two anglers, both of them from McKendree University, Blake Jackson and Trevor McKinney, who've made it through the bracket it from their different sides of the bracket to this day. You can see how they've matched up 12 pounds and four ounces versus seven one on day one. And it's McKinney with the upper hand today. And when this is the sixth time out of 10 years that teammates have matched up in the finals and Tommy, they were the last seed going into this event. So they had pressure to defeat higher ranked guys every step of the way. We made it here and we are at our highest of highs and in, in our 15 hour drive home from Leesburg and me and Trevor both wholeheartedly said, and this is on everything, all we want is one of us to make it. I said I'd be just as happy if you made it, and he said I'd be just as happy if I made it. And you know, and it wasn't just a saying. It, we really did mean it because if he makes it today, if he beats me today, I'll be at that classic supporting him, and I know he'll be the he'll be there right there with me. And and. Uh, He's the best friend of mine. Um, we became good friends and in college when I went up to McKendry University and gosh, I don't know. It's sickening to think that I'm gonna, I had the shot to, to beat him because um, I'd never want that to happen to him. He's a darn good fisherman and I know with what I got, I gotta get to catching him. He's gonna put it to me and, and uh, he's gonna catch him. But, but either way, I'm looking at this week as a success. And, and hopefully one day, I know it's both of our dreams, that we are gonna be fishing professionally at some point in our life. And, and I hope we both get that opportunity at a young age um, to give us a shot and, and really get in there and, and follow some, follow some foot, footsteps that other anglers, I know Cody Huff's on the mind of everyone right now. He, he won this event last year and he, he's made the college world happy. I mean, he is, He's performed. Uh, he's performed like you would think he would, and and uh, he he's gonna make it, I believe, and 
he's got the right mindset and everything so that's all we can ask for but all in all we're best friends today we're gonna be best friends tomorrow um and either way it turns out god's got a plan already we're just living in it so we're just gonna roll with it oh yeah it's a two pounder he's got it hooked really weird i think oh get out of that tree get out of that tree oh no oh no He ain't two pounds, but he's bigger than the zero I got in the last three spots. Man, these fish are so fat down here. Yeah. Two six. Two six, we'll take him, that's for sure. That is for sure. Two more of them. Whew. This never happens to me. Big tournament, have a good morning. A oh. little bit of a slow start for Blake Jackson, then he got things rolling, feeling good now with three fish. And with those three fish, he's pulled within a pound of a streaking Trevor McKinney. So we're close now. No matter what happens, me and Blake are, are still gonna be proud of each other. Um, the fact that we, we made it here, just, just a blessing from God. And uh, I think it says a lot about our program at McKendry. Um, it says a lot about our anglers. Um, we came into this seven and eight seed. Um, so probably the, the least likeliness of making it to the last day, the way we were seeded. We've, uh, we've done really well. We've, we've caught them the last two days and hopefully we both catch them today. There's another good one. That's a good one. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. That's a good one. That is a good one. See, let's stretch that string. Oh, he's pulling. He's pulling. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. Holy crap. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Help me. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. I need him. I need him. Baby. One hook on the outside of the face. Yes! You know him? Yeah. He drove two hours to come watch me today. Two nine, two nine. A 2.9, I'll take him. It's tough. Beautiful spot. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Jesus! Trevor doesn't know it, but uh, it was a lot closer than what he thought, but that good one helped his cause a bunch running. He did, and that's that's the thing. You never know what your competitor has, how close the margin is, but when you're an angler out on the water and you're catching them, you start feeling it, and that momentum drives you. You're a couple steps from the Bassmaster Classic. The Carhartt Bassmaster College Series is brought to you by Carhartt and by Bass Pro Shops. The last day of the season for the 2020 Carhartt Bassmaster College Series. This is the classic bracket competition. We are down to two anglers, two anglers from the same school, McKendry University. They grew up 30 miles away from each other in small towns in Illinois. And Blake Jackson, Trevor McKinney, what a tight match. Oh, that can be a bass. In the boat. In the boat. At this point in the day, midpoint of the final day, Blake Jackson already has his biggest single day limit of this entire bracket competition. Yet, Tommy, he does not have the lead. 
very shocked at the midday that he was trailing Trevor McKinney, and he had over 10 pounds. Trevor had over 10 pounds as well. He has a slight margin. Now in the second half of the day, we will see who adjusts. Can Trevor hold him off, or will Blake pass his best friend? If you got any hopes and dreams of, of fishing professionally, uh, college route is, is the route to it, and there's no doubt about that. Uh, one of us today is going to win, but that's not it. I mean, these sponsors, uh, these companies that are behind college fishing are, we are the, we're, they understand that us college anglers, we're the future of fishing. They're great and, and everyone else. I mean, there's so many out there and, but uh, if you're really seriously looking into it, college fishing is, it's an awesome experience, uh, number one, but if you do want to make a career out of it in any way, I know uh, there's a guy, uh, and we all know him, uh, Luke Stoner, he's a, uh, he fished college, um, graduated a few years back, and now he is, um, he's working with a company that represents um, Carhartt, Toyota, that kind of stuff, and, and he's only got that job through college fishing, and uh, you know, if that's the avenue you want to take too, that, there's so many opportunities and so many people that you meet. Um, that's just unbelievable. So if you get the chance, don't don't hesitate. Just don't be a striper. Caught some stripers here yesterday. If it, not, it's gonna help. Come on, be a be a spot. I doubt it, but maybe a big spot. Yeah, that's a spot. Oh, just get in the boat. Well, it ain't gonna be a... It ain't gonna be an upgrade, I don't think. He ain't gonna be a 110 and beat Tanner. 1-6. One 1-6. Six. One six. Take him. Well, the second of two small upgrades since the noon update for these two anglers. Blake Jackson knows that he still has a small deficit, a very small deficit to Trevor McKinney, and he's got to upgrade again. Yeah, I fished uh, pretty well every BASS high school and college event that I possibly could have over the last eight years. And uh, I will say, got a little one. Yeah, that one's fat. I'm gonna catch a few right here before it's over. There's a lot of fish here. But uh, no, I've just become such, I have uh, I have so much more experience now than I had eight years ago by fishing all these tournaments. I mean, I've traveled the country and fished everywhere. I've, I've been to Texas, Louisiana, all the way up to New York last year. We went to the, the St. Lawrence River um, and if this is what you're wanting to do, fish the classic, fish, fish pro, have this opportunity. Um, it all starts at the high school level. I mean, from the time you're a freshman to the time you're a senior, fish every single event that you possibly can in high school. Um, of course, it takes a takes a boat captain to take you, so keep that in mind. But um, yeah, just fish everything you possibly can, and that's what I did um, all the way from high school to to now. I've, I've Fished pretty much everything. There's a big one, big, big one. Please be a spot, Lord. Come on, that's a spot. That's like a four or five pounder if it's a spot. Come on, baby, come on. Come on. Be a spot. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes! I needed that one. It's not that big. You're wrong, it's not a spot. No, nope, it's not. Large mouth. I will take him. Thank you, you Jesus. That's a two pounder. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I needed that one bad. They're down there. I'm gonna catch them. I'm gonna catch them. I'm gonna catch them. They're zeroed and ready. It's like a two-two. Ooh, even more. Two-three, two-four, two-four. Nice. Two, four. I needed that one bad. That's a big confidence booster. I don't know. I, 
I feel like this has been God's plan all along. Um, it, it just seems like everything's falling too perfect for things not to go right. Trevor has adapted. He's had a flawless game plan, Tommy. He's followed the bait. He switched up the tactics every single day. As we get down to the end, Blake knew he didn't pass the weight that he needed to to beat Trevor. Trevor was unsure. He figured his teammate would have caught them this afternoon. They share an embrace in a moment. This means a whole lot, Tommy. For you, for anybody that may not know, this is everything to a college angler. To achieve this is a dream come true for Trevor McKinney. I've been up in the middle of the night all week. There's a chapel where we're staying. I've been praying. I've just had God's presence on me. So strong I was going to win this tournament. Besides the tournament, I just love it so much. It, it's, it's why I wake up in the morning. Um, I just love to fish. And when you have that passion, that love for fishing, something like the Classic just means that much more. Well, driven, passionate, and very much a skilled angler for sure at an early age. Trevor McKinney is going to the 2021 Bassmaster Classic. He'll also get entry and fees paid for the BassPro.com Bassmaster. Opens for 2021. The use of a fully wrapped Toyota Tundra and a Nitro Z20 as well. So everything falling into place. A great, great season-long effort by Trevor McKinney. It is, and it's a career-long effort for sure. A guy who's came up from every rank along the way. He was one of the original guys that we really paid attention to in the high school series when we started that up around 2014. And then every single year he's gotten better and better. Just added accolades. An All-American He's done very well in college, and to cap it off here with this, basically his last semester of college, I mean, it just means more. Well, hats off to him and to his partner throughout the entire season leading up to this tournament anyway. Blake Jackson, boy, tough day for him. Kudos to Blake Jackson for making it here. We see that teammates having to go head to head in the finals. That's gut wrenching, heart wrenching that one of your best buddies won't be able to win it, but the opportunity for you to win it is right there. So, they, hey. That's all you could ask for is one of you or your best friends to win this. Well, thanks for joining us today for our classic bracket competition. Congratulations to our champion, and we'll see you next time.